Hi, it's Carrie Brang from the McDill Air Force Base Library, and today I'm going to read for you The Three Billy Goats Gruff, The Full Story, by Richard Jackson and Catherine Tillotson. The Three Billy Goats Gruff, The Full Story. This book was published by Anthonyum Books for Young Readers. So, here are the brothers Gruff. Billy Goat, Big Billy Goat, Middle Billy Goat, and Little Billy Goat. They are famous because of a loudmouth bully boy under a bridge. Here he is. He's called a troll. And he thinks the bridge is his. All his. The river's too, most likely. Just look at him. Gnarly. Toes curled around stones. Saplings sprouting from his head and neck. And his breath? Oof. Now, it happens that our three billy goats have chewed and chomped and swallowed up all the mountain grass on their side of the river. Still, they are hungry. Beyond the bridge, over the rivers, their cousins graze on the mountain opposite, where enough lush grass grows for everyone. The brothers Gruff watch the cousins Gruff munching, munching away, and, well, they are envious. These cousins are not famous. They are content. They have enough, and they want nothing more. Unlike Big Billy, Middle Billy, and Little Billy, who want some of that green grass for themselves. But to get it, they must cross the bridge, where you know who is hiding the troll, breathing his bilious breath and mut muttering. Because troll too is hungry, fed to the teeth, and what teeth, with sticks and mud and green river scum, he's long, he longs for a meal of, meal of good goat. Imagine his mouth-watering joy when he sees the gruffs coming his way down their mountain. Little Billy first, then Middle Billy, and Big Billy last. Troll hunkers. And here's trip, trap, trip, trap. That's the sound of Little Billy's shiny, tiny hooves above him. Trip, trap, trip, trap. Ah, who's that tap, tap, tapping on my bridge, says the troll. Only I, little billy goat of the brothers Gruff, says little billy, on my way to see my cousins. Please let me pass. Not before I gobble you up, you measly morsel. Troll booms from below. Wait, wait, said Little Billy. My bigger brother, Middle Billy, is following just behind. He is a mighty meal compared to minuscule me. I'll eat you both, says Troll. I'm that hungry. And he reaches a scrawly paw upward through the boards of the bridge. But Little Billy scampers past just out of Troll's reach. Once across and over the river, Little Billy stops for breath, turns and hears. Trip, trap, trip, trap. That's the sound of not so little middle Billy's medium-sized hooves. Trip, trap, trip, trap. Ah, who is that tap, tap, tapping on my bridge, asked Troll. Oh, that voice, like a tornado. Only I, Middle Billy Goat, of the Brothers Gruff, Middle Billy says, on my way to join my brothers to visit our cousins on the mountain opposite. Kindly let me pass. Not before I gobble you up, you medi mediocum, troll booms from below. 
Wait, wait, said Middle Billy. Our biggest brother, Big Billy, is following just behind. He's a meal-worthy mouthful compared to middling me. I'll eat you and him too, said Troll, his stomach churning, something ferocious, and he reaches two scaly paws upward through the boards of the bridge. But Middle Billy slips, slides past, just out of Troll's long reach. Once across and over the river, Middle Billy stops for breath, spies his little brother ahead, high hoes and turns to hear... Trip trap, trip trap. That's the sound of not at all middle sized. Big Billy's huge hooves. Trip trap, trip trap. Ah, who's that tap, tap, tapping on my bridge? asked Troll. That voice again, only worse, like a typhoon. Who do you think, Trolly? It is I. Big Billy Goat of the Brothers Gruff, says Big Billy. On my way to join my brothers and visit our cousins on the mountain opposite. Now let me pass, or... Or what, Big Billy, says Troll. No please, no kindly? Well, no thank you, Gruff Stuff. With that, Troll swings his whole scaly self up, up, up onto the bridge. I will gobble you up. I will, I will, Troll Bellows. Come on then, bully boy, Big Billy roars back. Just take a look at those two old horns, a gander at those four huge hooves. Whoa, and then here's the famous part. Bibi Boots Troll sky high into the air where Troll has never, ever been before. Ooft! Is that his stomach or his mouth muttering, muttering? Come on, Big Billy says to Brother Little and Brother Middle and all three skitter up the mountain, join their cousins Gruff, and together share the lush grass as a family. Want to hear, Big Billy says to the cousins, about our troll below? He looks up. Or our troll above? Yes, said the cousins. They all stop chewing. Well, Billy Boy begins. And so it happens that the story is first told. The story, like all stories, of who wants what, and do they get it? Big Billy has one answer. Middle Billy has another, even better. And Little Billy has the best. At last, the cousins Gruff won something. More, they cry. More of that story. Please and kindly. And poor Troll. Does he want more of that story? Or just a little peace and quiet while he once again settles, mutt muttering for his sticks and mud and Green River scum? Of course he doesn't. The end.